Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Primal Nerds. Sorry it's been a while. It took us a while to get back. We went back in time in 2007, found some vintage hero clicks, and thought we'd bring them to you. So back in 2007, back when I was 30 pounds lighter and had a full head of hair, and I would religiously watch Adult Swim every single night, Hero Clicks came out with a new set that introduced the cards. So back in 2007, they came out with DC's Justice League. And today, we've got four of these. And we thought, you know what? Let's look back and see what the past had in store for us here in the future. Take a look at what DC had back then and what the cards really meant, and you can really truly see how underpowered these are compared to today's Hero Clicks. Stay tuned. It's 2007, I believe it's June 2007. But you see here, these are the four different bo box arts for each booster. We'll take a look at the side here, and you can see this is where it had the the uh, plow, the, 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 plow. <laughs> the crown pl uh, prince Joker here, uh, Batman. There's Guy Gardner, uh, Wonder Girl, I believe. But here, this was the year that uh, Starro actually came out, and you can see here with the uh, Green Lantern. This was the Starro slave set that came out so like all the justice league members had the starfish on their face so starro was actually able to manipulate them so this was like the big year that this came out plus the cards and i remember this bronze tiger here back when i used to play uh kitchen games and tournaments this guy was a nightmare <laughs> but anyways let's take a look at what 2007 had in store for us all right so first off most people's favorite superman not mine mm -hmm. and the flash so we'll take a look at this the ones we're looking for are the starro slaves and we're looking for doomsday which that one i think back i think i still have that one from back in the day so see they don't have the tape like they did in the old ones or the new ones i mean this box is destroyed and i think is that a unique i think we got a unique right off the bat that's pretty cool so and we have where are the cards <laughs> all, all, all the cards and stuff were in here. So this is the old sets. So you have Lex Luthor, Crimson Fox, Bouncing Boy, Zariel, and Hector Heyman, which I believe is a unique or rare, super rare. But see, these are the old cards. They didn't have the stats on the back. They just had an, an appearance. And then you notice the colors are different too. You get blue, red. And the yellows, uh, this was supposed to indicate this was experienced, veteran, and rookie off the old color system. And as you can see, not very many white powers. There's only two because this was the very beginning of all the special abilities. So they didn't want to overpower too many of these. So you can see here, Hector Heyman, Sonic Powers. Hector Heyman can use Psychic Blast and Telekinesis. So... All they would do is give them two abilities for the most part. Here we go, Bouncing Boy Ricochet. Once per turn, if Bouncing Boy KOs an opposing character or hits an opposing character with a critical hit, after the attack resolves, he can break away automatically. Not really too overpowered like they used, like they are now. And they would also give you these pog pieces. So this one is Kyle Ace Morgan. This is the way tokens actually used to be, folks. <laughs> so give you a taste of what old figures look like too here's that hector Heyman, ugly as sin mm -hmm. <laughs> but you used to have to have a ring to turn these bases because oh, these wow. things were tough as you can see see even the stats the stats aren't even that good i mean look at that a nine attack on a 16 defense if you see that today you wouldn't even play that play that character we've got the Crimson Fox is actually a cool looking piece. I like that one. And here's the old flying bases. God, these are something that I do not miss. So the old flying base, old flying bases. So let's take a look. Here we got Zareel. So that's what he looks like. Actually, it looks pretty cool. He's got the flimsy sword, which as you guys can tell, has not is, is not something that uh, still today 
is a problem to find. <laughs> so all you would do is this right here. Yeah, well, maybe not. But anyways, that indicates flying. And you know this little tab right here? This would mean they're on the ground and you would literally have to move it up to indicate that they're flying. As you can see, and you can tell to the old paint jobs, the color schemes, I mean, just look at that Lex Luthor. Oh my goodness, he's so bad. Look at that. Yeah, so you put him right here, like, boop, there you go. Bouncing boy. All right, so that was the first one. Let's see what we got for the second one. Forgot to tell you too, in the old sets, you actually got a checklist of all the figures that were in the set, so you knew exactly what you were getting. It would tell you what this was. So let's see, it was Hector Heyman, correct? He's just a rare, but it shows you like old sets. Here's Legion of Superheroes. It tells you how the new cards work. Upcoming DVDs. There's Superman Ooh, DVD. <laughs> Doomsday. Hey, it's coming to DVD spring of 2008, folks. Make <laughs> sure you don't miss out. <laughs> Next pack is Robin and Batman. I'm sorry, Batman and Robin. I, I, I'm sorry, folks. Hey, we got a King Shark. He's actually a good one. All right. So let's see who we have here. Some javelin looking dude. I don't know who that is. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> what is this? It is August General in Iron. I don't know what that means, and he's a rare. Let's see what his card does. So no special ability as of yet. And there isn't, there's no special ability. And look at that point value, folks, 100. You get a 100 point value figure now, and they're way overpowered. You have Dr. Alchemy, King Shark. Now he's actually a good one, he's still worth some money. There's the Joker. The Plown. The, the Plown. Uh, we have Aquaman, his is Perry. When hit by a close combat attack, Aquaman can use super senses. Ooh. So, yeah, so like you can see, very, very lame white abilities. Oh wait, there's another one. Telepathic communication. Aquaman can use perplex, but can target only characters with a dolphin speed symbol. He can't target himself. When Aquaman uses perplex to target a friendly character, target all friendly characters with a dolphin symbol within 10 squares. Oh my goodness, yeah. So pretty lackluster, like the old white abilities were horrible. Here's the Joker. In Biggin, the Joker has giant damage symbol, so close range of two. Unpredictable omnipotence. Before the Joker makes an attack roll, you may choose and declare a number from one to six. If you do, as the attack hits and the declared number comes up in either attack die, increase the damage dealt by two. And there you go for the Joker. And this piece is actually really cool looking though. He's one of my favorite jokers because he just looked cool. <laughs> I had so many of him too. I mean, you look at that. Look at that horrific paint job. I mean, that's a face even a mother couldn't love. That's just horrible. And we have, I believe the alchemist. Here's the alchemist. We'll do Aquaman next. Aquaman, that was when they started doing more and more of the effects too. The hand is so bad. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. And there's King Shark. Still a, still even a decent piece for today's standards. He's not too bad at actually at all. Oh, oh, we got another bystander here. We get Mira. Mm, no abilities. All right, folks. Let's go to the next one. I actually got a piece here that I've never even seen before. <laughs> get these to come out. Okay. So, get rid of this. Let's start off with the token. We have Walter Professor Haley with willpower. You see, it costs seven points to have this guy. Okay. So, let's look at the cards we have. We have... Zatanna. Let's see, any white abilities? Not a single one, and she's 72 points. Okay. We have Time Trapper. This is the one that I've never seen before. It actually looks really cool. 
125 points. Here's a special ability. Negate. Time Traveler can use Outwit. When he does, he can use it normally or choose, a count, choose to counter the same power or team ability possessed by all opposing characters. Wow. Okay. Well, that's something. We have to Mr. Miss... Oh, I've never been able to say his name. Oh, yeah. M Miss Pitalik? Mick Pitalik. Mr. Mrs. Pitalik to you. I come from the fifth dimension. Oh, that, that sounds about right. Yeah, this was actually a piece back in the day that everybody wanted to. Yeah. I, yeah. Phasing teleport, object man, animation, 107 points, the weird point values back then. What? You had to say his Heat name wave. You, you had to say his name backwards. You had to say his name backwards or something Yeah. Like that. yeah. <laughs> Merlin. <laughs> if, you, if you watched any of the uh, Green Arrow, you'll know who Merlin is. Assassin's Training. Merlin can use Perplex but can target only himself and modify his attack, damage, or range value. So like again, the white abilities weren't the best, but let's see what Mr. like can do. He has an ability called Clipism. <laughs> he can use phasing teleport. When he does roll a d6 before moving, on a result of one, you can deal him one unavoidable damage. And object animation. Give him a power action and roll a d6 for each opposing character that has zero or one action token that is in a square four or fewer squares away from him and is carrying an object or adjacent to or occupies either a square of hindering terrain on a result of three to six. Give that character an action token. That's a lot just to say uh, using capacity. <laughs> so ridiculous. There's Heat Wave. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that supposed to be a fire coming off that gun? It is. That is so yeah. lame. And you gotta remember, guys, when you're looking at this box, I just want to let you guys know it was their fifth anniversary. So, and you gotta remember back in the day, man, people love this stuff. There's Merlin. Like, this looked good when I was going to the store and buying these at the comic book store. Mm -hmm. There's the Time Trapper. He's got, like, this cube-looking thing with all the DC teams on it which is really cool that's actually a really cool looking piece it's flick and flick mr plakash <laughs> here's mr plakash <laughs> mr lemony snicket oh look and see this folks is a unique mm -hmm. yeah Joker so super rare or can only use one of there he is <laughs> in all his tiny glory and then we have zatanna The Doctor Strange in the DC Universe. Well, actually, it'd be Doctor Fate or Scarlet Witch. What is wrong with her face? <laughs> <laughs> look, okay, folks, you it's gotta been look at this. Fourteen years. This isn't even a Starro slave. This is just really, <laughs> really <laughs> bad painting. Look at that. <laughs> what do we do, folks? Just throw some peach paint on it with two white dots, and we'll call them eyes. All right, looks good. Let's package it. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Last one. Here it is. The blonde bombshells themselves. Aquaman and Oliver Queen, aka. Like, huh? Like for last one. <laughs> like for blonde bombshells. Like for jacked up face. <laughs> like for jacked up face. Yeah. Bad painting. Look at that. Let's see what we have. Look at that. What is that? Okay, let's get some stuff out if it comes out. Okay. This does not like me. <laughs> What's going on here? Let's see who we have. First, I wonder if we're going to get... Yes, I was about to say, are we going to get a... Um, oh, what did they call these again? You Well, basically the way it worked is you paid the cost, as you can see here. And what it did is it gave you a, a feat or an ability for... Uh, your team or character on the team. So this one, the prerequisite was super strength. Cost you five extra points to put this on your team. The character ignores the effects of hindering terrain for movement purposes. Once when given a move action, the character can make a close attack, targeting blocking terrain or wall as a free action. If the attack succeeds, the character can continue the rest of its movement, if any, after the attack. So you would put this 
on your team on a character who has super strength and they were able to use this ability for the game. This was a really cool aspect of the game that I really wish they would bring back out because even if they didn't have white abilities to give you something like this, you can put this on your team and use it for anybody. This is definitely one of those things that need to come back. It was awesome to use. It was awesome then. I absolutely loved it. But we have Black Canary and she has Canary Cry. Black Canary can use Energy Explosion and Incapacity. And how many points is she? 50 points. That's about normal now. But I guarantee you she's only like three clicks long. Uh, Dr. Light, no abilities, but 67 points. <laughs> Toy Man, this was actually another good card that a lot of people were looking for. 50 points. And he's got Perplex, he's got Giant Reach, but I'm trying to remember why he was, you got Legion of Doom, Metropolis, Superman, Superman Revenge Squad. Huh. Maybe this isn't the one I was thinking of. There's another one that I think it said Robot or something. So we got another Mr. Misplicket, which is crazy. We got another one. And we have another Dr. Alchemy. Let's look at the ones we haven't seen yet. So here's Toy Man. And this piece was always just so cool looking. Look at that. He is riding a big nutcracker. <laughs> that is just way too cool. Way too cool. I love that piece. We have a black canary. Oh, focus. There we go. And then everything else. We, oh, wait. No, we haven't seen a Dr. Light yet. And a Dr. Light. This is the female version. There you go. That's pretty cool. Now, this is what the old stuff got, you guys. Be happy that the game has completely changed now into the state that it's in. Because, one, these old figures are ugly as sin. Two, the powers are weak. And three, way overpriced for what they could do. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, today, the Mr. McFlickett. <laughs> the King Shark, the Toy, was it Toy Man? Toy Man, and I believe that the Time Trapper is actually a chase piece. We're the best pieces that we pulled out of these old sets. Not bad, actually really cool. Some of these pieces I've never even seen before, like the Time Trapper, that was the first one. So it was really cool to see what the past could bring and just gives you a taste of how things have evolved in such a long period of time. That was 2007, that the five year anniversary, we're at like almost 20 now. So pretty impressive to see how far along the game has come. Now this was the first time that the cards came out in any set, so it was a new experience for everyone. But one of the things that I think needs to come back are the ability cards that you can pay to put on one of your characters or your teams, like ATAs. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's, all, it's uh, additional team abilities where you can actually change your team ability. Anyways, if you like what you see, you want to see some more, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Don't miss an episode. And let us know what you thought was cool from this set and what you'd like to see either come back or that you're glad has not come back. And as always, later nerds.